These are one of these all-in-one podcast groups. It was great to hear a semi-prediction come true today. Listen to this. Here's me from uh, two years ago. At and his least. old friend, he's back for a limited <laughs> time. Just a limited time. Cast media, though, is something you should be concerned with because they are the ones who run Fighter and the Kid. They are the ones who run Sarah Silverman's show. Who else? Countless yeah, others. Go to their website. One go to their website. What you want to hear? And Cast Media also ran Impulsive. Now, we thought this was just an ad firm. But what Brian Callen led us to know is that Cast Media is a full, all-inclusive production company. Okay? So they're not only the ad men. They do they do your merch, they do your website, they do it's a podcast in a box. And you'll be disgusted to know, you know, part of starting a podcast was the Oh my god, look at this guy started a podcast. He's really involved. Now you just go and you pay cast media, they set you up in a day. So you've got Penn's Sunday school on there, The King and the Big. Sting, Impulsive. One and by the way, they gotta take that off. Look at right, this. So they had a problem with Impulsive. This is why I was covering it back then, years ago, uh, because Impulsive had fired Cast Media. Remember when they messed up their audio? Remember that? And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool that they finally fired Cast Media. Then today this pops up again. Theo Vaughn speaks out. We've never seen Theo Vaughn speak out. Never. And here he is speaking out on Cast Media. They've run off with the money. Let's Sticking in the legal in the legal space, I want to talk about uh, something that has been tough for. It's I want to talk about something. Um, we our podcast was defrauded. We were Woo! stolen from. Um, we were taken advantage of. A lot of ways to say it. Uh, the company that did it is Cast Media, and the man that did it is Colin Thompson. And I'm going to put his picture in Look here. Look at that. Um, and now, like Barack, has Colin spoke out on this? Have we heard a peep from Colin after he's been put on blast like this with everyone? I'm not sure. From actually. Cast Media. Have we gotten a response? Uh, it's I don't know exactly how to say this. I'm going to do my best. Um, I, we're part of a larger group of podcasts that were uh, stolen from. Right. Oof. His we were part of his tweets have been protected as of today, hopefully. Maybe a couple of weeks ago, he saw this coming. I think he in total, yeah. I've just between talking with folks, there's up to four million dollars that I know of that four million dollars stolen by cast. Uh, we're in the six figures. I know of podcasts that are in the seven figures. Um, and Colin Thompson, that's his name. I want to say his name so you know it. Uh, people get taken advantage of a lot in business, and 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 businesses use tactics and stuff to hide to hide themselves. And, uh, you know, they'll use bankruptcy or the threat of this or that. And, and, um, and, and he may get my money. That's okay. You know, I, I'm fortunate that I can still have touring and that I, uh, can take care of myself, but you fuck with the wrong rat, Colin. Uh -oh. I'll tell you that brother. And, uh, and I'll just tell you guys what happened. Really um, we had a deal with this company, right? And and it was started off good, and then it started to get where we were getting less of our payments. Payments. And we were reading the ads. We do the ads, you know. We read them out loud. So we... <laughs> I love this because who would have thought running these dirty ads would ever end you up in hot water? Who would have thought? These dirty, despicable, disgusting ads that you should have never been fucking running in the first place. You couldn't even get the advertisers yourself. That's how lazy these guys are. So I hope people aren't starting to go fund me for Theo Vaughn. He's made his living 15 times over selling you other garbage. Okay? He, didn't, he doesn't need to do ads. He wanted to quadruple dip and do the ads and bury up to your neck in bullshit ads ridge wallet how many times did you have to hear about the ridge wallet and it's not even enough they couldn't even put 10 seconds into you know uh getting a relationship maybe with uh, someone they want to promote that has like a good product maybe you seek out a company that does something that you like it's your vibe and then you sell it i don't think wallets when i think of theo vaughn well actually i do when i think of the yeah actually now i do now i understand why you're selling wallets but you 
you want it just like the we found out with the packs and the telemarketers from Patrick J. Prespice. Pres- 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 so you're like the eternal order of police. Is that what they're called? The fraternal order of police mm-hmm. <laughs> using telemarketing companies to scheme money, even though you know they're stealing the money, but they're giving you 10% at the end of the day. And you don't have to do anything. So it's still a good deal for you. You know, they always ask, oh, why do the police work with telemarketing firms that scam the people and they get such a little cut at the end of the day? Well, it's either that or nothing. So they'll take the 30 grand a month from the bottom 10%. They don't give a fuck. And that's exactly what you guys have done with the ads. You wanted to invest no time or investigation. You went with the first shady company Logan Paul told you to use. And you relied on another company to do your dirty work, your dirty, disgusting, rotten ads. And guess what? Who would have thought that uh, doing dirty, disgusting, rotten ads, you'd work with dirty, disgusting, rotten people? Who would have thought in that business? Mm-hmm. So now, oh, you've been, you've been burglarized. Please. Please, you, that money was not yours to begin with. That money should be donated to charity. Any money that's brought back because... Boy, did you waste our time. What about our time? You took that money right from our time. And we all sat there and watched the ads because we were like, oh, we're supporting Theo. Not us. I mean, me as a fan of Theo. Yeah, they were really supporting criminal enterprises. (laughs) You probably took a lot of money off the top that's going to line this. to have the money. Yeah, so when your fans thought they were supporting you by watching the ads or buying the Ridge wallet from the ad, their money was going to Colin, who is now your arch enemy. Well, that's cool. So you gave all your fans money to Colin, who stole it? <laughs> Sweet, man. Thanks for being in charge. I was, did he say the part yet about how they were trying to get them to sign on? So, because uh, Podcast One is about to go Yeah, let's see. They'll probably talk like soon about the. Because see. I we, just... and, and you guys support some of them, and thank you. Um, and then it got to be where we were getting paid less of the payment we were owed and they sell all the ads a year in advance. So you're kind of stuck into the year, what right? A racket. And the advertisers were paying Colin Thompson and cast media and they weren't paying us. They would pay us a little bit and they had a reason why. And okay, so why don't you dump them then? So and one of the craziest parts was like, there was like, and by the way, there's 80 videos about how these guys are crooks and they've been up for years. We've been screaming about it for years. So you knew they were bad, just like, you know, Jordan Peterson's bad. who You just had on and promoted to all these new TikTok kids, just like, you know, um, who else does he hang around with that's so not, uh, rotten? All your friends, all your buddies. So you hang out with these rotten people. You do rotten things. You act as crooks. And then what was my point? I don't know. All I was going to say was that apparently the deal that he's going off about how he turned down. Yeah. Apparently Shab took that deal. Wow. People let's hear that. saying on Reddit. We kept least. asking, mm. you know, hey, we have to get paid, man. We have to. Get, and we weren't getting paid. And so finally I was able oh, to. Oh, yeah. That was my point. You hear all these rumors about them being crooks. And it's just like how you're friends with Logan Paul. How many times do you have to hear a story before you get why people are all saying this? Cast Media has been in the pits for at least a year. You waited till it affected you, your wallet, until you got involved. You heard all the horror stories. I'm sure people wrote to you about them. I mean, I've been hearing this stuff for the last two years. And you ignored that because it wasn't affecting you. And now that it's affecting you, cash media needs to be stopped. huh? You're going to be the hero, right? Are they going to donate to you for the money that's been taken? make a new deal um, and just cut ties completely. I made sure that everything, you know, they breached our contract. And so I was able to cut ties. And then they come along, Colin Thompson comes along and he joins, there's a new company that has a stock that's going live soon, right? Or it's coming out or something. This company called Podcast One or Live One, right? I, he, the, they get another me on a criminal call, network uh, with, I think the guy's name, Rob Ellen. Yeah, that's the guy's name, Rob Ellen. Um, and his brother is Doug Ellen. 
Doug Allen's like screen brother screen involved, right attached. His brother was pretty successful. Um, but they get me on a call with this guy, Rob Ellen, right? And and they tell me, um, they tell me that if you come over to our new network, over to this new network, Podcast One, that we'll pay you in, some of what you're owed in stock, right? But the stock hasn't gone public. So they're trying to, it, it felt like to me, they're trying to leverage our podcast and other podcasts to then make their stock do well. Um, and then if that happens, then we'll get a share of our money, right? Like, Hell yeah. It just play ball. The whole thing to me felt really. Anyways, uh, apparently see. Brendan is the fighter and the kid is doing that. <laughs> Brendan and the fighter and the kid are joining the new podcast network and receiving a share. That's what people. While everyone else is left bankrupt. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. Well, I'm glad this is happening to them. Let's drink. Let's celebrate. Throw on a song and let's celebrate to them. I'm so glad that they lost. And look at how ironic, huh? The evil ad money. Didn't work out, huh? Never seems to. I don't know why they don't learn. Just sell your friend's product. Sell your own product. Sell t-shirts. Shouldn't the merch money be enough to cover the costs of sitting at this dinky set? Who knows? You know, they want it all. Bonk, Cheers, everybody, bonk, to them bonk, losing bonk, bonk, some money. Bonk, not me. I'm not bonk, losing any bonk, money. Bonk, 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 bonk